Hey there, friends. My name is Desiree, AKA Mama Friendly, and I'm trying something a little different this year when it comes to our homeschooling. All of the main information is gonna be found in the very first video of this series, which I'll link up here in case you've missed it. But the Cliff's Notes version is that I've been homeschooling my son his entire life. He's nine years old and on the autism spectrum, he has nonverbal autism along with a few other medical diagnoses. My son also has a complete and absolute undying love for all things Disney, much like his mama. So this year I thought it would be fun to give our unit studies a little bit of a Disney twist. So every two weeks this year we're going to start a new unit study based on a Disney ride, movie, character, etc. We're going to be doing our academic work around that theme, but also at least one cooking activity and at least one art activity. So in these videos, I wanna show you guys some of the things that we do to fit the theme. And I have a Pinterest board pertaining to each of the themes. And so along with every single one of these videos, there's going to be a link in the description box to that particular themes Pinterest board. So make sure that you check those out because I am only showing you some of the things that we're getting into every week, but the board is going to have more activities and also activities for kids of different ages and different abilities. So with all that being said, let's get into our theme. It's time for our art slash sensory activity and we've got one of our favorite mouse friends here supervising. I thought it'd be fun since Ratatouille is such a cooking heavy theme for us to decorate an apron. So I've got a little kid sized apron here. I will try to find one on Amazon so that I can link it down below. And I've also got some fabric markers and some paints, some like shirt paints. We actually bought these when we did our Mickey Mouse theme activity because we made t-shirts then. So I'll link this whole thing down below. It was like 20 colors I think it came with. So we have just a few here. I'll try to find these and this, like I said, so that I can link them down below as well so you can get everything we've got. I put down an old towel so that we don't accidentally hurt our dining room table. And there's not going to be any like rhyme or reason really to the art here. I kind of just want my kiddo to go wild and do whatever he wants to do. But you can easily make this like make your own Ratatouille themed apron or just like your favorite character or just, you know, this is a great opportunity to let kiddos go wild with their creativity. So that's what we're gonna do. We've reached the part of the video where I show you the attractions that are themed to our movie or our hero. And I think the most obvious thing to talk about is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. This just opened here at Epcot in the last year at um, Walt Disney World and there's actually I want to say a near identical version of this ride at Disneyland Paris which came first so as always I'm including links to all the videos that I'm showing you right now they're going to be in a playlist that I'm linking in the description box below so that you can see the ride throughs for yourself and maybe you and your kiddos can figure out if there's any differences between the two rides and if so what are they what are the similarities something that's very exciting about these rides is that they are trackless which is a pretty new technology I haven't gotten to experience it myself yet because I haven't been back to the park since the pandemic started. But like I said, full ride throughs are available online. I found the ones that have the best quality and are the most thorough and I have them linked below so you can check them out. This one is the Epcot version and the next video on the list is the Disneyland Paris version. Along with the new ride at Epcot, a whole new section of the France Pavilion at Epcot was opened where they've included shops and restaurants that are all themed to Ratatouille. So again, this is a full tour from the opening. And if you wanna check that out, it's linked below as well. Super, super cool. I can't wait to check it out for myself and just really immerse myself in the whole Ratatouille environment. For our cooking activity this week, it seemed really obvious to just make a traditional ratatouille, but my son does not care for vegetables very much. He really, really loves apples though, and he's 
pretty fond of pears, so I thought that it would be a better idea to do a fruit ratatouille, and that way he might be likelier to want to taste it. He might even taste it as we go along cooking it, and I'm completely open and encouraging to all of those things. So I'm going to post the original recipe down below um, because I am adapting this a little bit to fit our dietary needs. So we need one banana. We're going to peel that. We need a quarter cup of yogurt. The recipe calls for plain non-fat Greek yogurt, but we are dairy free. So I'm gonna be using this vanilla and cinnamon coconut based yogurt. We also need, it says one and a half tablespoons of coconut sugar. I might use a little less sugar than that though because our yogurt does have sweetener in it. Like it's not a plain yogurt. So we'll see, kind of, we'll play that by ear. It asks for a teaspoon of rum extract. I have some on hand, but I don't think my son's gonna like that, so I'm gonna leave it out. A half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Some cooking spray. I don't have any, but I do have um, avocado oil, so I'm probably going to just cover the little ramekins in that. We need two green or red apples. I've got two honey crisps right here. We're going to core them and slice them as thin as we can. Lastly, we have a large Bosque pear that we're supposed to have, core, and slice as thin as we can. So it calls for six ramekins, but I don't have ramekins and I wasn't about to buy any just for this. So instead we're gonna be making two rather large, um, these are actually Pyrex Tupperware, but Whatever this is, that's what we're going to be making. So I'm gonna get the kiddo in here with his newly decorated apron and we're going to basically just slice everything very, very thinly. We're going to, it says puree the banana with the yogurt and the cinnamon, but I'm going to just have him mash them with me with a fork. Bananas are very easily mashable and I feel like that's gonna be a more sensory enriching way to do it than to just throw them in the food processor. And they just want us to divide the banana yogurt cinnamon mixture into the ramekins and then layer the apples pears on top. We're going to cover them in the sugar and cinnamon and we're going to bake them at 350 for 30 minutes or until the fruit is tender. That sounds like it's going to be absolutely delicious. Let's see. Alright friends, so that's gonna do it for our ratatouille. I can never say that right, like I know there's like a way to say it in English, but it always comes out like very Hispanic to me, like I can't hold it back. Ratatouille. That's our ratatouille homeschool theme for the week. My son really, really enjoyed decorating his apron, um, so much so that he couldn't wait to put it on, so he had like purple paint all over his neck for like two days afterwards. That was definitely the highlight though. I really hoped that he would have more fun or that he would be more engaged with the fruit ratatouille, um, especially because they're ingredients that he's familiar with and that he eats on a regular basis. But to be completely honest, and it happens, every day can't be perfect. He wasn't in the best mood the day that we decided to do the recipe, and so that was my mistake. I probably should have waited, but we are gonna try it again because I really liked the final product, and so I don't mind making it again just to see if we'll have more success and more engagement the second time around. Something else that I thought of afterwards that I don't think would have worked for us because of my son's aversions, but it could potentially work for you and your kiddos is this would be a great opportunity to do like a blind taste test for example like you could really explore the senses so 
You could literally blindfold your kiddos and have them smell foods, have them feel foods before finally tasting the food and seeing if they could identify it. And that would be a really easy way to kind of get some science involved in this theme as well, as if the science and math of cooking weren't enough. And you could also use Ratatouille as kind of the foot in the door to make this whole theme about France and the culture, the architecture, the food, etc. So it could be an introduction to that that and it could lead to a wider range of study. We had a lot of fun with this theme and as always I'm going to continue to look for more activities and things that I can add to that Pinterest board which is linked down below. I do that with all of the units even after we're done with them so the boards are constantly changing and growing and I try my best to include activities that are suitable for kids of all ages and all abilities. If you decide to make the recipe or decorate your own aprons, I'd love to see your handiwork. So if you post a video or a photo anywhere, tag me on it so I can check it out. And I do have over 30 different Disney homeschool videos at this point. So that's definitely enough for a full year's curriculum. If you know of anybody that could use this sort of inspo, if you will, feel free to share my videos. That actually helps my channel a whole lot and it's completely free to you and your friends. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.